Okay, you're right. Welcome to your video tutorial. Today we are going to look at converting fractions, decimals, and percentages. Okay, let's begin. Okay, to convert a percentage to a fraction, we simply sign the, change the percentage sign to a denominator of 100 and then simplify it if we need to. To convert a fraction to a percentage, we need to multiply by 100%. To convert a percentage to a decimal, we need to divide by 100%. To convert a decimal to a percentage, we need to multiply by 100% and move the decimal point two places to the right. Okay, let me show you what I mean by all that. Write that down and then I'll show you what I mean. Okay, convert the following percentages to fractions or mixed numerals in their simplest form. Okay, so we said to convert from a percentage to a fraction, I change the percentage sign to a denominator of 100. So I've got... 160 over 100. That just changed this percentage guy to being a denominator of 100. Now I'm hoping some of you can see that's an improper fraction. Okay, so I'm hoping some of you would go, oh miss, you mean 1 and 60 over 100. Okay, yeah. But I'm hoping some of you are sitting there going, oh, that's not the simplest way you could write it, miss. That's not the simplest way you could write it. I'm hoping some of you can see that 60 and 100 are divisible by 10. So I need to actually simplify it to 1 and 6 over 10. And then when I do that, I hope some of you are sitting there going, there's one more. You can do it again. And you can see that 160% is the same as writing 1 and 3 over 5 because I divided 6 by 2 to get 3 and I divided 10 by 2 to get 5. Okay, so 160% as a mixed numeral in its simplest form is 1 and 3 over 5. Okay, now with this one here, 12 and a half, I'll do the same thing. I'll put it like I said as a, a 12 and a half, change the percentage sign to a denominator of 100. I'm hoping some of you can see this is a decimal though. It doesn't sit really nicely. <coughs> Sorry. So what I have to do is I have to get it out of a decimal. If I change the top, I have to change the bottom as well. So I can actually go, hmm, if I double 12 and a half, I actually get a whole number of 25. I'm finding an equivalent fraction here. If I've doubled the top to keep the same value of the fraction, I have to double the bottom. So I'm going to change the bottom to 200. So 25 over 200. That's correct, but you have to remember to write it in its most simplest form. So 25 and 200 are actually divisible by the same number, and it's 25. 25 goes into itself once, okay, and into 200. Well, it goes four times into 100, so it goes eight times into 200. Okay, so always make sure, put a denominator, change the percentage sign into a denominator, always simplify, and if you get a decimal, always try and convert it to a way that it's not a decimal, and then simplify. Okay, convert the following percentages to decimals. Now, so what you wrote down is that to convert a decimal, um, a percentage to a decimal, I have to divide by 100. So... 7, 2, 3. Quick way to divide by 100 is just move the decimal place two places to the left. 1, 2. So 723% is the same as 7.23. 13.45%. That one converted to a decimal. I move it twice to the left. 1, 2, to the left, to the left. Okay, my decimal spot is there. I need to put a 0 ahead of it. So it's 0 0.1345. Finally, the last one, convert the following fractions and mixed numerals to percentages. Okay, so we need to multiply by 100%. Now, how can I do that without a calculator? Well, let me show you. Okay. Three fifths as a hundred percent. It said I had to multiply it by a hundred percent. 
That's how I can write 100%. I know that that's still a percentage, so it's not actually 100 over 1. It's 100 over 1, and I can write it as a percent. But as soon as I do this, you might notice something. This then becomes two fractions. Hey, I know how to multiply fractions in my head. This is awesome, okay? I can do this on paper now. Before I begin, I'm going to teach you a quick trick. You know how we spend heaps of time at the end simplifying? You can actually do with fractions when you're multiplying this thing called cross simplifying. So you can look at this and this number and that and that number and you can see if I can simplify them before I multiply, it might save me some time at the end. 3 and 1, the ones in red, nope, can't write that any more simple. I've got a 5 and a, ten, and a five and a 100. I know that 5 goes into 5 once and 5 goes into 120 times. So I can actually simplify it before I begin. Then I can quickly perform the actual calculation. I know when I have two fractions, when I multiply it's numerator times numerator. So 3 times now the simplified 20 is 60. 1 times 1 is 1, so it's 60 on 1%. Now that on 1 I know just means 60 as a whole. So my answer for 3 fifths as a percentage is 60%. Okay, let's have a look at this one down the bottom. Okay, 7 over 40. So 7 over 40 times by 100%. Okay, let's just see if I can cross simplify. Oh, yep, yeah, I can. Um, I can go like this. I can go ooh, 40, 20 goes into that. So 20 goes into 40 twice and into 105 times. So 7 times 5 is 35. Okay, 2 times 1 is 2. Now I know that says 35 on 2 now. So what's 35 divided by 2? 35 divided by 2 oh, is 17.5%. And that's really important that we pay attention to whatever comes out on the bottom. Okay, because that will tell us what we have to divide that top number by. So I can either say 7 over 40 or I can say 17.5%. Okay, the final one is 2 and a quarter. Okay, 2 and a quarter. So first off, just to make my life easier, um, well, I'm hoping actually most of you can see this originally. And it wants me to convert it to a percentage. What's a quarter as a percentage? Quarter. What's a quarter as a percentage? Well, a quarter of 100 is 25. So that must be 20. A quarter is 25%. And if I've got that big two there, that represents two holes. One hole is 100%. So two holes will be 200%. So two and a quarter is actually 225%. Isn't that cool? I can work that out in my head. And that's it, guys. That is work converting fractions, mixed numerals, and percentages all amongst each other.